Are you getting a Ridgeback puppy? It's an exciting time for you and your family, but how do you introduce them to your family? Well, today we're here to help with that. Welcome back to the Fenrir Ridgeback Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Ridgeback and then how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise your very own. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Bringing home your Ridgeback on the first day is gonna be very intimidating for that puppy. They've left behind their mom and their siblings and they're coming to meet your family. So how do you do that first introduction to your family? Well, today we're going to be tuning into a webinar that the canine behaviorist and founder of FenrirCanineLeaders.com, Will, has recorded all about how to introduce your Ridgeback to your family. So let's do another quick fire webinar on what you should do when you bring your puppy home and how to introduce them to the family in the best, most effective way to set you up for success. Now, obviously, when you're getting a new puppy, it's so exciting, you're doing so much research, and what you don't want to do is make any mistakes on day one with simple things like introducing them to the family. Now, we're going to talk about this in the webinar from a couple of perspectives. First and foremost is the, 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 uh, the close family, the people that are going to be living in the home with the puppy. And then we're going to talk about slightly extended family and people that are going to be coming over quite often. Now, when it comes to bringing the puppy home, you need to remember that, yes, it is a traumatic experience for the puppy. Yes, they have just been taken away from their mother and their litter mates. But that doesn't mean, as much as we might want to, that we want to pander and baby to them. Because what we might be doing there is actually accidentally reinforcing any timid, fearful or bad behaviours in the term of crying, jumping up, being whingy, being needy, that might become a learnt behaviour and start to trickle out as they grow older into something that is just quite frankly quite annoying. So when I talk to my clients through bringing the puppy home, calmness is key. Exercise within reason is key. Try and keep them tired, try and keep the calm, and try and keep the energy levels settled. If you're the person going to pick the puppy up and you're bringing it home and you've got children in particular, it is a very exciting thing and the children's energy naturally is high adding a new excitable puppy into that and that energy level is going to go even higher so it's your job as the leader in the household to do your best to keep that energy level low keep it consistent and start as you mean to go on from day one work on your boundaries rules and expectations that you should have already as a family discussed and have in place prior to bringing the puppy home if you start as you mean to go on with those rules boundaries and expectations especially with manners and food that puppy will start to look up to you for guidance and direction, building that leadership, which leads to relationship, which then leads to communication. Open up those communication pathways and everything becomes easy. And that does start from day one with those initial introductions. So my biggest takeaway tip for you for the family that are going to be living with the puppy is to keep that energy levels low. Don't pander the puppy. Don't pick them up and give them cuddles all the time. Have that discussion proactively about what the rules, boundaries and expectations for that dog when it's fully grown are and start start implementing those rules, boundaries, and expectations from day one, calmly, consistently, with good leadership. Now, the same can be said for that wider family. But when we bring them into the house, you need to understand that they're also going to be very excited. You want to socialize the new puppy. You want to get them to know the new people that are going to be in their life. But again, it's your job to let those people know if it's your brother, sister, auntie, uncle, friends uh, that are coming to the home, just let them know, look, we're really trying to model calm, relaxed behavior. We want you to come over and meet the puppy. We want it to be a pleasant, nice experience. And I know you're excited, but when you do so, can you come in? Can you ignore the dog if it's being obnoxious, if it's jumping, if it's crying, if it's barking, no look, no eye contact, no touching, no talking. Wait for the puppy to calm down, bring those energy levels down, being calm, displaying good mannered behaviors. Then we can add our praise, our fuss, and our attention. That way we're reinforcing from day one with everybody in the puppy's life that what we want is calm, well-mannered behavior. Do that from day one and you will be setting yourself up for huge levels of success as that dog grows older. Yes, puppies are really cute. Yes, we want to cuddle them, but by doing so, you can often do such a disservice as they grow older, and they grow quickly, quickly become adult dogs, and when they are adult dogs, those behaviors that we might have accidentally reinforced early on can become significantly bad behaviors, many of which are the cause of dogs going to shelters or being euthanized. So be proactive, be calm, consistent, ignore those 
those bad behaviors reinforce the desirable, well-mannered, quiet behaviors, and you will have a perfect canine companion. There you go, guys. Some really useful tips and tricks about how to introduce your Ridgeback puppy to your family. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, get involved in the comments down below as we would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we have two dedicated videos coming out every single week. So I can't wait to see you in the next episode of the Fenrir Ridgeback Show.